Okay. Let's give this a go. Do you have anything for me? I gotta be honest, fella. Uh, I really don't know. I really can't answer that. Oh, I should have put in the title that this is where I now go blind for this game. Inspector Chalme and Madame have already returned for the night. You know what? Actually, I'm going to change that right now. Checking. Sorry I'm late, I had to redo the last 20 puzzles from last stream, and this is where it's now blind for me. Um, okay, for some reason it didn't change that. That's okay. I wonder if we really did just mistake what we saw on the street. Yeah, I'm certain that, that it was Raymond. When, when we saw him, there wasn't the slightest hint of light on him. Neil lost consciousness, but how odd he should return healthy as can be in an hour later. Stranger still is the fact that he seems to have no memory of what happened, of what we saw happen to him. So peculiar. Plus, Raymond wasn't even the first. Lots of people seem to have that same experience. Any other villager would be in a panic over something like this, but St. Mister, but... Um... It's peculiar, that's all. There's something very peculiar about this whole town. Is peculiar your word of the day, Luke? Yes, in most places, no one wouldn't stand for this, but we've seen that St. Mystery is anything but normal. Ooh. Three more puzzles. Find a star. Monster and Fish Thief. Why would there be a thief of fish? I mean, of all the things to result in thievery, fish? Yes? Yes, don't you worry. I'll let him know. Oh, hello there. There was a phone call for you. It was from an Inspector Che something or other. Oh, we know him. 
He just kept saying that it was urgent and that you should meet him at Reinhold Manor at once. Probably wants to Probably wants to and talk about what happened yesterday. Maybe so. We won't know until we get there, though. Come on, Luke. Before we go, let's see if you have any puzzles for me. The Odd Sandwich. Using scraps left over from your breakfast, you've managed to cobble together a rather oddly shaped sandwich. How many times must you cut the sandwich in order to make it fit neatly in the container? From the looks of it... kind of want to say one because you can just do you can just remove the triangular portions of it so I kind of want to say that either one or two Let's go to my guide. Yeah, I yeah, I know I just said that that this is blind now, but Also with, well, actually, I'm, I'm going to check. After I've done this question, I'm going to check, I'm going to take a look at those uh, puzzles. Yeah, one there was. We go. Yeah, I was thinking one as well. Every puzzle has an answer. That's right. This puzzle is a snap. What you see how the sandwich's protruding edges fit together. Oh, so I had the right idea, just mine was vertical, not horizontal. Simple chair, um, let's go that to later. And let's talk to you again. Oh, that's quite a bit. Morning summons. Today marks our second day in St. Mystere, and I was secretly hoping I could start off the day, start the day off properly with a little tea, but no such luck. We've been summoned to Reinhold Manor and must hurry over to meet the inspector before he loses patience. Wait, so all of that happened in just one day? Yeah, 
Okay. When Leighton and Luke finally tracked down Raymond, they were shocked to see him being kidnapped by an old man. Shortly thereafter, Raymond returned to the mansion with no memory of ever being abducted or stuffed into a sack. What's happened to his memory? Hmm. Only needing two more of these mysteries. Well, actually... Nice, a bit angular, but not bad at all. What do you have to say about it? Okay, so they both seem to like it. Well, at least it's a good thing that, that, that you can do it like this. Actually. Because the first... Because my first thought was once you selected it for either Luke or Leighton, uh, you can't move it. Okay, so... Oh, uh, really? Hmm. Okay, so I've now solved 52. I thought it would have done something like... Like, like it... It's Yeah, it's essentially a Pokédex, a puzzle dex, if you will. Uh... Oh, hi, buddy. Looks like you fellows can use to sit me stare. But stay sharp. Believe you me, you'll be buried in all sorts of difficult puzzles before you can shout, Josh and Scarfin! Too late. But now I'm sure you realize that you can retry the puzzles you failed to solve, eh? Yep. However, have you noticed how some people's, some people's, some puzzles just seem to vanish before you can get back to them? That's right. You see, that's the way it is with life. Once they're gone, they're gone. For good. For us at easy, too, those puzzles you thought had vanished have merely moved somewhere else. Yep. The Lazy Guard. Oh, actually? Actually, I sort of remember this one. Um, while turning his few... So if he starts at A and ends up at B... Wait. Uh, well, let's just reread... Let's just reread it just in case. The, the local museum has an, exhibit, has an exhibit that spans nine rooms, as shown in the diagram below. The entrance to the complex is marked by A, and the exit is marked by B. The security guard on duty is a bit of a loafer and wants to walk each room of the exhibit while turning as few times as possible. What is the fewest number of turns he can make while still visiting every room? As an example, the diagram shows a course that involves six turns. 
So if we start at A, it would be... One, two. Yeah, two is what I'm remembering. Two is what I'm remembering correctly for for this one. Okay, Luke, so here's my answer. So yes, another puzzle solved. So I might. So I do remember this one last time. That's right. If the security guard takes a path like the one shown above, he can finish his patrol of all nine rooms in just two turns. Since the example shows the guard turning right angles to go from room to room, it's easy to assume that your solution works the same way, even though that's not the case. Yeah, so, as long as the guard can see the room. Oh, and I just noticed that the guard smiles. Seems the training I've been giving you has paid off. What training? You've, gave, you've given me two puzzles. Let's just give that to Luke for now. I doubt you have another puzzle for me, but we'll, we'll just see. I can lend you my top hat. Cut which one? Uh, below are six linked rings. They may look like a tangled mess, but there's one ring that, if cut away, would leave the remaining five rings connected and to end in a long chain. Which one must you cut in order to make the chain? picture now I'm think I'm remembering this one although I may be wrong Should do it. Critical thinking is the key to success. Good job. If you examine the connections for each ring, the answer is surprisingly easy. Gossip. I bet you dollars to donuts that he's the one behind all these donuts. 
Is that a phrase, dollars to donuts? Used to emphasize one's certainty. Oh. Or, you know, y you could just buy me a donut. Because I solved your puzzle. Pile of books. It's gonna go, it's gonna go to Layton. Okay, before we go do that, before we go to those ones, well, it's much better. There's still much to be done. Getting there, I suppose. The desk's neat, but it needs something to go on top of it. That's quite a pile. It's good thing that I have a bookshelf. Now that's a lot, a lot of books. I can read them all. I, I wonder if I can read them all. It's a bit square for my taste. You're a square. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, it's either a big pile of books or the books that actually go into the huh okay that's cool nice little attention to detail So, last stream, it ended at past five hours of game time. So now it should, so now it should have been, uh, five and a, five and a half hours or so now. I don't know what happened after the last stream, but for some reason it... And it did save. I saved after every puzzle. Well, sort of. I sort of saved after every puzzle. But for some reason, it restarted me two hours and 20 puzzles. Go with 52. Find a star. Oh. What MC Escher is this? The star is the same shape and size as the one shown in the right. Where do I even begin? Mm. I mean, I kind of want to use my hint coins, but I'm a good friend Google here.
Because this is just a mess. Oh, there actually is something there. So we have Well, here's my guess. What? I've let you down, Professor. Well, it's a good thing that I saved. Sorry, I'm doing this. Hold on one second. Oh, it needs to be a one line? Strike there. Ah. I don't like drawing like this. Sixteen hundred. You got it. Doesn't spotting the star earn you a free wish? A shooting star does. So you only just had to look for the. So you just had to look for the uh, for the Pentagon. Okay, so it's not that bad of a puzzle now. Looking. If you're just looking for the five sided uh, black piece.
and painting scrap. Fish safe. When you were looking, someone came and gobbled up your fish dinner. The three brothers near the scene of this dastardly crime had to say, Me? Oh yeah, I ate it. It was good too. As I ate, as I ate eat the fish, right up. D and I didn't eat that fish. One of these three brothers is lying to you, but which one is it? Okay, my mind went in a complete different direction. Like someone actually stole fish from a restaurant, like actual live fish. says that he had the fish. B says that he saw A eat the fish. C says that he and B did it, didn't eat it. Hmm. I want to say based on the face... It looks like C is lying. There is something about there is something fishy about this puzzle. Ha ha ha. right. Professor, I've solved it. The here is C. A and C split your dinner and each ate a half. The answer becomes clear when you realize that if A is lying, B must be lying as well. The same thing happens when you assume that B is the liar. Therefore, the only possible answer is that C is lying, a scenario that only works if C actually did eat some of the fish. I was mainly going on f face alone because it looked like C sort of had like that nervous twitch. Ooh, television. That's going straight to Luke. Monster. Oh no, the town is in grave peril. As you read this, a fearsome monster is launching an attack on St. Mister. Ward off the beast by stabbing it in the eye. And for goodness sake, hurry. I'm... I'm sorry, what?
Uh, the cat? The person? I'm surprised it's not that. Although it sounds like I'm fighting something in Street Fighter. Ward off the beast by stabbing it in the eye. I'm stabbing everywhere. What is happening with this one now? I've stabbed like pretty much everywhere now. Hasn't this worked yet? Okay, that's getting a little stupid now. I just had to do it like that? I just had to click some mech? Another picking scrap. Painting, I think I just got, yeah. Yeah, now we're getting somewhere.
Oh, no. No, that doesn't quite work. And then you go there. And you were right there. Okay, good. That is good. Not really, but just wanted to... Okay, uh, yeah, I remember... I'm remembering this one as well. Two boys are playing a game in which goal... In which the goal is to take the longest route possible from A to B as shown in the map. The only rule is that no section can be that no section on the road can be traversed more than once. Oh boy. And I did just save. Has an answer. Uh. I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it. Without having to look it up for once. that in now. Uh, 
Uh, that's actually looking like it's right there. Yeah, that's looking like it should just be right there. Take it and you don't have another thing for me. What a dish? What a doll? What a honey? I've never heard what a dish before. Uh-oh. Wayne Cats. There were three different colors of plush cats before you. The color of a cat denotes its weight. Examples one and two show their relative weights. You have three red cats and four black cats loaded on one side of the scale. On the other side of the scale, there are four white cats and one black cat. Given this setup, will the scale tip left, tip right, or stay level? Tap your answer. I am not understanding this. Excellent. If you replace the red and white cats with black ones, the puzzle becomes much simpler. I'm about to yawn! <coughs> Once you make the replacement, you'll have six black cats on the right and six black cats on the Sort of makes sense. Another scrap. Jeez. Well, I know where you're going. Uh, did I? Flip this? I might have flipped this. Or does it or does it matter? I don't know. Hmm. 
one's here. Oh! Wait, 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 wait. Why was this not in that puzzle house? Okay. Because, I mean, we've already gone through four chapters, is it now? Game-wise? Alright, here's a quick and easy one. You say that. The first letter of the alphabet is A, and B comes after. However, the letter you need to worry about is the last one. What's the last letter of the alphabet? Here's a here's a hint, it isn't Z. Is that Y? Is it C? Because to the Well, that's what I just looked up. Professor, I've solved it. Oh! The actual word. Okay. You got me there. The actual word alphabet, not alphabet A to Z. Yes, I see Z. I'm Canadian. Ooh. Turn hint coin. Not that hint coins are needed. Oh, there's two in this room. Are you trying to poison me? What? What are these vile things? You oaf, some butler you are. I, uh, I'm so sorry, sir. I detest sweets. The very sight of them turns my stomach. Get the plate out of here at once. Well, of course you detest sweets. 
You're a sour guy. You're angry all the time. So you're sour. Perhaps the lemon cakes. <laughs> yes. But of course. Ah, Legion, there you are. You look at the presents. The sources tell me you've been out snooping. Uh oh. Um, I will do that run shortly after I'm done this stream. The sources tell me you've been out snooping about and interfering in my case. Just what are you up to? It certainly, it certainly was my intention to interfere in your case. However, a few things don't make sense. Leave the investigation to the police and go chase after that gold apple or whatever it is. Don't you worry your head. If I find, I'll find Simon's killer. That, that you can be sure of. For the record, I I do like sweets. So if you ask me cake or pie, I'm gonna say cake. Yeah, but before we do that, Man of the world, you know, there's nothing more, there's nothing women find more than competence. Don't do me to eternal bachelorhood. I, I usually am competent. But still nothing. Uh, the cross shape on the pin board below has nine pins inside it and 16 outside it. Remember that example because now it's on your turn to construct a shape on the board. Can you create a cross that has 17 pins inside it and 16 outside? What? Can you create a cross that has 17 pins inside it and 16 outside it? Well, my guess is that I would just have to inc Just increase the, the stuff by one. Because that's all I'm getting from this.
Although I'm surprised that um, that should do it. I wasn't giving. An ah, I suppose I thought wrong. Okay, why did why did that go wrong? I did it exactly the same as Does this sound? Okay, that's a little bit odd. Legends Apprentice, save the day! Just let me get back to where I was. So yeah, as I was saying for this one, I'm surprised I wasn't given a limit to how many times I can make this. There we go. Every puzzle has an answer. That's right, the puzzle is a cinch once you figure out that the cross needs to be placed diagonally on the board. Sometimes the only, sometimes the only thing you really need to solve a puzzle is a little creative thinking. While clock will go to Layton. See what Luke has to say about it. This should be handy. Hmm. 
Hmm. That greatly increases his happiness, so... Just so I don't have to do that again. Let's see what the others have to say. <laughs> Excuse me. Father, Ugh. a father and son are having a conversation. The father turns to the son and says, "You know, son, there was a time when your old man was twice the age of your mother. Of course, the next year I was only one and a half times her age, but still, that's pretty amazing, eh?" The father is 44 years old. How old is the mother? So half of 44 is 22. So... Is it simply... Is it 29? That's what the calculator says. Yeah, the only time they ever use calculator. Is few and far. How is it that answer? That should do it. Every puzzle has an answer. That's right, the mother is 43 years old. When the father's father was two years old, his mother was one. The next year he... Splendid painting, that's possibly going to go to Leighton. Sure, a man of his stature appreciates a good painting. Yeah, that's kind of where I was going. Oh, wait. 
save. Save, 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 save. I wonder how badly you would even 100% speedrun this game. You would need to answer every question as soon as possible. Not like I'm going to do that. It's a joke. Joke. A mysterious newt. A detective who was mere days from cracking an international smuggling ring had suddenly gone missing. While inspecting his last known location, you find a note. The note appears to be nothing more than a series of numbers, but your gut instinct tells you that this note will reveal the name of the crime kingpin. Currently, there are three suspects in the case, Bill, John, and Todd. Can you break the detective's code and find the criminal's name? Oh, it's Bill. That should do it. Critical thinking is the key to success. Bill is boss, he sells oil. Yeah, you yeah, you just had to flip it. Although I didn't do that. That's right. If you flip the note upside down, you'll notice that the numbers resemble letters and that those letters form legible sentences. Legible. Well, I'm trying to, but but curiosity gets the best of a pro but curiosity gets the best of the professor. Because you know he's a because that's because that's what happens with professors, right? They get cur they get curious about many things. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Oh, hi, Greg. I thought you were gonna show up earlier. Oh! Okay, now, now I'm getting a little better picture of this picture. And that's not a moon. It's a space station. No. That's a that's either a cat or a dog and the moon is right there. I got my Monday show which I'll watch tomorrow.
Okay. Oh. So, apparently, you need to be subscribed to watch shows on on VOD. Or I might be wrong about that. Yeah, because I was trying to watch either last episode or two episodes ago, or, or the, either last episode or the episode be before that of Critical Role, and it wasn't letting me. feeling today? Fun as a fiddle now, Professor. Perhaps even as vivacious as a violin. <laughs> that awful fatigue from last week seems like it never happened. As you can see, I'm bursting with energy and my skin is soft as a baby's. I feel like a teenager again. Is that so? That's good to hear. He, do he doesn't seem to remember what happened yesterday, does he? He has no idea what happened. So what's our next move? We shall respect the inspector's wishes and leave the murder case alone, Luke. But as Inspector Chalmers said, solving crime is the police's job. Besides, something tells me that this case and the Golden Apple are more related than we suspect. That's the intuition of yours talking again, isn't it, Professor? First and foremost, we need to find a clue that will bring us closer to the apple. Perhaps one of Baron Reinhold's relations or close friends can help us point in this. Yeah. The hunt begins. It's finally time to start the search for the golden apple. Explore St. Mysteries for clues. Okay, I just did that, but nothing wrong with saving a gun. Talk with Matthew. He's a nothing to you. So your duties here prevent me from leaving the grounds. Only Ingrid. Okay. It's been years since she left, but Ingrid used to work as a servant in the mansion. She was floor's nurse, and she often helped me with my work. Matthew! Game! <laughs> I can just imagine in editing someone putting in game from Smash Brothers with that sound. The general store? Okay. Yes.
Uh, before we talk to her. Okay. Layabout? Rude? Earlier we were talking with the butler at Rhinelon Manor and he mentioned that you used to work there. We'd very much like to hear anything you might know about the Baron. I really wanted to say Bacon. Heavens me, you want to hear about the Baron? I'm granted the only stories I have are from when I worked at the manor. That was ages ago. That would be ideal, madam. Would you mind telling us one? All right, if you solve this puzzle. Yes, yeah, that's a currency here. Puzzles. The way Master Reinhold and his wife would carry on, they almost seemed to be like children. You never see a man so in love as Master Reinhold was. When she passed away, Flora was all the Baron had to remember her by. So he raised that little girl with all the love a child could want. The things he'd bring home for her, toys from all over the world, and teddy bears as big as a shelf. He was in high spirits in those days. He really wanted to give her two parents worth of affection. Not so where I gave her this accent from. So where's Flora gone? Your guess is a good mind, sir. I have no clue where that girl went. She left the mansion well after I started working for the Reinholds. Some said Lady Dahlia put Flora on the street to keep the family riches to herself, but that's nonsense. For all the Baron cared about Flora so much, I can't imagine that she had allowed something like that. You, you just remind me. The grave of the Baron's late wife is located in the Manor Garden. I wonder who can't take care of it now. The Baron's former wife is buried in the garden. Thank you, madam. You've been ex extremely helpful. Look, let's head back. Are we going grave robbing? Oh. What's Matthew doing outside? I mean, no disrespect, but she said the grave. Lady Violet's grave, sir. I was designed to visit it myself. Greg, I've got a bad idea. I've got a bad idea about this. Not sure if you're still there, though. But just letting you know that I do have a bad feeling. Oh, what is... This is not what I was expecting. This is Lady Violet's grave. Gosh. This place is really nice. It's not creepy at all. The late Baron, rest his soul, told me to keep this place in proper order. And I have tried to do so. Here sleeps Violet, my one true love. The statue looks so much like Lady Dahlia, it's hard to believe it's someone else. Back when Flora was just a tiny little thing, Lady Violet used to take her to the park in town. Some of the flowers in the garden grew from the ones Flora planted here for her mother. Oh, I forgot to tell you about the Baron's journal. It should still be on the desk in Madame's room. It's possible that it might contain some information that could aid you, 
they could aid your search for the golden apple. And thanks, Matthew. I'll be sure to give it a once over later. And then, Luke, we'd best head back to Reinhold Manor. Okay. That was a lot worse than I expect. That that was a lot better than I expected it to be. That was just a bunch of blocks. Okay. Well, he's the butler. He should pretty much know where everything is inside the house. Right? There's something about reading someone else's journal that just doesn't seem proper to me. The craftsmanship of it is simply remarkable. It reminds me of my sweet Violet when she was alive. I suppose it refers to possibly the golden apple because that was because that's what we were asked to find here Florin doesn't like the thing at all I've seen her run away from it on multiple occasions recently she spends more time playing by dear Violet's grave than anywhere else I'm sad to say I doubt Flora will ever take to it I can't blame her, as I've changed its memory. I felt terrible forcing that change on Flora, but I just couldn't bear to see it like that anymore. Violet, there can never be another you. You were my first, my last, and my only. Changed its memory? I'm not sure what the Baron means, but this clearly but this is clearly vital information here. I collapsed some days ago and have been bedridden ever since. I feel as if I have failed Flora as a father. I can only hope that when I am gone, the people of the village look after Flora and care for her as I did. Must have been terribly ill. It seems I am not long for this world, and the time has come for me to say goodbye to my little Flora. I've left everything in Bruno's care now. Flora, I pray you find happiness in this life. So, Bruno, we've got to look for a Bruno. I've just closed the location of this secret place and a note that I've left with an old friend. It is my most fervent hope that the seeker of the golden apple finds it and grants my dearest wish. Yep, it's what I thought. So we're gonna need to be looking for a Bruno. Any 
good investigation, also needs direction. So back to Ingrid. Oh. Um, I'm gonna save because that was uh, quite a bit. Wood cutouts. You have a single sheet of balsa wood, as shown in the diagram below. Your job is to cut the wood along the dotted line so that you end up with four identical pieces. Pieces may face different directions, but they must not be mirrored versions of each other. Go on and get chopping. Okay. should do it. <clears throat> Critical thinking is the key to success. That's right. Once you got the ship with pieces, it wasn't so difficult. But it wasn't all that easy to find them within the wood, was it? Go to Leyden for that one. Oh, okay. Oh, you're right there. Suppose it. 
so let's see. Okay, for some reason, it doesn't seem that I'm increasing Leighton's happiness with us. I mean, I, I mean, I know that she's old and all, but still. All the talking about the mansion we did last time got me reminiscing, so I decided, so I decided to stop by for a visit. Look at me, but look at your face. It's just, it seems like you have something to, to want to ask me. Uh, that Bruno f person that they meant that was mentioned. <sighs> oh. SOS, 15 people are trapped aboard a ship that's going to sink in exactly 20 minutes. There's only one chance for survival in the five-person life raft stowed on their vessel. To make matters worse, the waters around the ship are teeming with man-eating sharks, so swimming to safety is out of the question. Round trip to the nearest island and back to the boat takes nine minutes on the raft. How many people will live to see dry land? So there's 20 minutes until the boat sings. Nine minutes to and from the island. Only five people can, can board it out of 15. Okay, so there's 15 people. And only five people can go on the raft at a time. It's a nine minute boat ride to and from the island. And there's only 20 minutes left before the entire thing becomes submerged. So it can't be all of them. That's for sure.
That should do it. Another puzzle solved. I upgraded an answer, Professor, and it took me five times as long to get that one. Well, you're still a child, Luke. I also have the internet. Do you see anything else creepy? Actually, before we go into the... the tile square, you have your your disposal a large number of tiles like the one shown below. If you were to make these tiles and try to make a square, what is the fewest number of tiles you need? How many tiles do I have? Because I would need four to make a square. Well, four would be the obvious answer. And usually the obvious isn't correct for stuff like this. I presume. That's the answer I just fucked up, so let's go with that. Another puzzle solved. Good work. The key to this problem is realizing that the tiles have depth to them. I do understand how you have that you have a third dimensional. So I was close with four, but it was a multiple, pretty much. Good to know, that's good to know. Uh, two corporations have put out help wanted ads. Aside from the information below, the two companies offer are exactly the same. From a purely financial, 
from a purely financial standpoint, which one should you work for? Company A will pay $100,000 a year and give you a $20,000 raise yearly. Company B will pay you $50,000 every six months and give you $5,000 raise every six months. As for someone that's looking for a job right now, this one hurts quite a bit. <laughs> I should have done this a long time ago. Oh. I don't want to go with B. There we go. Every puzzle has an answer. Nice one. As you can see, the image above, you actually calculate things out. You can see that the salary from company. Hmm. Well, yeah, it, it's her late husband's. Fortune. House plant. Not again. Not again.
And the seven to the five, it gives me 12. thinking is the key to success. Oh. How many moves did I do that in? joke, I'll give it to Luke. Mm, you might have something for you. I haven't played chess in a while, but sure. Too many queens won. Ah, dang it. Uh, in chess, the queen can move the full length of the board. Diagonally, vertically, and horizontally. See if you can place four queens on this 4x4 chessboard. There's a catch, though. You must arrange the pieces so that no queen blocks another's line of movement. Nope. That's what it was. Yeah. Luke, here's my answer. Critical thinking is the key to success. Nicely played. Cheese, cheese queen. <laughs> Chess queen problems like this have been around for over a century. This is a relatively simple variation of this type of puzzle, considered an, an introduction to the, to the genre. Stupid. 
stuff to cheer. That'll go to later. Okay, I'm gonna need to change that. Wait. I'm gonna need to change that number now. With an even better number, 64. Much better number. Oh my, it looks like someone has been writing nonsense on the blackboard again. It turns out, though, that under certain conditions, these strange equations are actually correct. It minus 6 is 2, 8 plus 6 is... What? should do it Every okay. puzzle has an answer Oh it's about a clock Before we march on a little further, it's 11 p.m. now. Okay, that did good. Pretty flowers there. Well, I mean, Leiden does have the books, so. So I think that's good for now. Yeah, huh, last time I saved it, it was on, it was on 64. for Enigma because that's how Bruce Wayne solves the um, 
uh, why can't I, why can't I remember the name of the Batman movie that, that had Jim Carrey? According to the diagram here, A2, B3, C3, D4. So what does E equal? Is E four? Is it E one? should do it every puzzle has an answer That's it. Although that number. <laughs> when I asked about her birthday, a young woman gets the following information. The day after tomorrow, I turned 22, but I was still 19 on New Year's Day the last year. When is her birthday? that they changed this up slightly Seven. That was hardly a dot. There we go. Critical thinking is the key to success. That's right, her birthday is January 2nd, and your conversation with her must have taken place on the 31st. As you can see the chart above, the woman was 19 on New Year's Day last year, and she turned 20 the next day. This year she... <laughs> Alright, if you say so, game.
but it's like hamburger ice cream with butterscotch and mayonnaise swirl. That sounds absolutely disgusting. Hey, there you are, there's a pony. Before we chat, I'm going to save. Twice. Oh, that actually is a mustache. <laughs> a scar <laughs> oh man There's a difference between good friends and running into the person a few times. Like it was earlier, he was no help at all. Chocolate, you see. Ah, oh, dang it. I wish I had something to cover up that number. You have a hankering for chocolate, so you buy a huge sheet of 30 chocolate squares. The sheet is five squares long by six squares wide. You don't break the chocolate at the lines that run between the squares, and you aren't allowed to stack multiple segments on top of each other. Keeping those rules in mind, what is the fewest number of times you'll need to break the chocolate in order to separate each of the 30 squares? happened to the border hold on one second okay not sure what happened there Okay, what is happening here?
Okay. Um. I actually don't know how much longer I'm, I'm going to be playing for the night. Because I started a bit later. Although I have thought of changing my... Although I have thought of uh, changing the schedule up a bit for quite some time now. Thinking is the key to success. That's right. If you follow the rules set out in the puzzle, then it really doesn't matter how many. Doesn't matter how you break up the chocolate. The number of segments you have increases by one each time. Yeah, I see that now. Well, Matt, that's definitely going to light him. Okay, maybe not. I think once I get all these filled in, then the happiness will be at full? I don't know. Excuse me. Find the Pentagon.
A number of five-sided shapes are hidden within the picture. How many can you find? Answer when you think you found every hidden shape. That's one. No, 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 no. OBS, please stop doing that. No OBS, stop. Look, here's my answer. Critical thinking is the key to success. Apparently it's solved. Nice work, three different types of pentagons. Are hidden in this picture since each shape can face Four different directions, you have a total. Oh, that's what it was like. Each of the triangles consider was considered a side. Giuseppe. Um, we don't have a flower vase. Someone knocked over this fabulous vase, vase, and shattered it. Put the pieces together and restored the shift the original shape. There's one kind of so mix and match the pieces. Mixing with the pieces is a single piece from a different
OBS. I swear. Stop. Luke, here's my answer. Critical thinking is the key to success. Well, you're lucky that I'm going to be ending it soon, actually. Okay, that's it, OBS. <laughs> I like this band. Hilda's brilliant detective and devoted husband. Tell me, celebrates each successful case with his favorite train, his wife's sweet potato fritters. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's going to be the end of this for now. So after these two saves, I'm going to call it. Let's just make it on to six hours. If I can. Okay, OBS. You're really taking me off here. Okay, that's it. Sorry. Bye.